Hey y'all, Jim Panky here. Let's talk about endings. Sometimes you'll want a big ending. And if you have not already looked at my shaving a haircut video, now's the time to do it. So follow the little link right there and go look at that shaving a haircut ending and learn that because we're gonna need that for all three of these that we're going to do today. Uh, but you got to have that one first. So go work on it. Now, once you got that, come back here. And once you get back here, I want you to hit the subscribe button and hit the like button and leave a comment. Do you know any of these endings that I'm teaching? If you do, talk about them in the comments down there. Would love to love to hear from you. And so let's let's look at these let's look at these endings. So they all start with the with the same little intro that I taught in the in the shave and the haircut. So it's a pinch with a slide, pinch again, five two one five one two, and a pull off. And then normally we would do our shave and haircut, but we can put something in between there. And if you've watched Hee Haw. You've seen Roy Clark do these big, long, fancy endings, and I'm going to teach you one of those today. Actually, I'm going to teach you three big, long, fancy endings. So let's look at the first one, and this one uses some of your closed chord positions, your up the necks, full chord shapes. So let's look at that. So we're going to start with the just like we did in the shaving haircut. So it's pinch, slide, pinch, five, two, one, five, one, two, pull off, three. And now we're going to use our closed shapes. So we're going to start with a G here. So it's a ring finger, fourth string, fifth fret, middle finger, third string, fourth fret index, second string, third fret, and pinky on the first string at the fifth fret, and we're going to hit our fourth string, and then we're going to pinch one, two, and three together, and then we're going to let up with our fingers. We're not going to take them completely off the strings. We're still going to be touching them, but we want it to sound like. And we talked about that in my backup series, so follow the link to the backup series. So, and then we're going to move up to this G, which is ring finger, ninth fret, fourth string, index finger, third string, seventh fret, ring finger, or middle finger, I'm sorry, second string, eighth fret, and pinky on the first string at the ninth fret. So in the same right hand... So we're going to this shape. Now notice what I do. I pick these two fingers up, I slide up and put these down and I just swap them. So I'm just swapping those. And then I'm going to go to a C chord, which is up one fret, swap these two. And then that's a diminished shape. And all I've done was take my ring finger and my pinky and slide them up one fret leaving these and I know that's a big stretch and you could really just do it with with just your pinky because that's the only one we need but I do it with both because in case in case I happen to hit that fourth string so it sounds like and then we do our shave and haircut So that whole piece again, slowly. So there's you a, a long, big vamp ending. Awesome. So practice that. When you get done, get that one down. Come back for another one. All right, so here is 
one that's going to sound really familiar to you is if you've watched the picking and grinning on Hee Haw, you've heard this one. So it starts out the same way. But this one does a little walk down. So let's break that down. So I'm starting with my ring finger, eighth fret, second string. So I'm just pinching one and two, five, two, one, five. So it's a pinch, at, so then you got a pinch at the uh, seventh fret. So we've, I've just used my middle finger for that. Five, two, one, five. And I came back with my index finger for that. So and then at the fifth fret and at the th third fret. So that sounds like slowly. One more time, even slower. And then the shave and the haircut. And I do it a little differently. Instead of the pinch, instead of the pinch, I just do two one. and then the tag. So that whole big ending slowly. Fun. All right, we got one more. Alrighty, let's tackle this last one. Uh, it's a little different. We're going to, it's going to start out the same way, and then we're going to do our shave and a haircut part, and then we're going to put the fancy stuff on the end. So it's going to go like this. So your standard little tag. And then we do our shave and haircut. And then do it again. So we got two of those. Now we're gonna hold an A chord at the seventh fret. So that's our pinky on the seventh fret first string. Index is going to be the uh, second string fifth fret. And then our social finger will be on the third string at the sixth fret. And it's and our right hand pattern is three, two, one, two. And then we're going to hold a D7 chord. So we're gonna put our ring finger down at the seventh fret on the second string. And the index is gonna come over to the third string at the fifth fret. And then our right hand patterns, three, two, one, five. And then we need a G or just a partial G. So index, third fret, second string, pinky will stay on the first string, but it's at the fifth fret. And then you're going, and you're just gonna pinch one and two. So that sounds like, and then you just need a little strum. It can just be a backwards with the index or any, any, any little strum I do. So that lick really slowly from the beginning. So there you go. Three big endings that you can use next time you go out and jam with your friends. Just give them a heads up. Say, hey, there's going to be a big ending. So they'll they'll know if they've been picking for any length of time. They'll, they'll know exactly what to expect. Give these things a whirl. Try them out. Throw them into your picking. Let me know how it goes for you. And we'll see you next time. Bye, y'all.